I still can't believe how much things have changed. We hadn't heard from the Klingons for years. And now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got here. It was the same for you, right? We came to Starfleet Academy to become explorers. Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard on the ground and in space. We learned how things worked on a starship. And we learned how to work as a team. We've been getting ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. And today's your big day. Today you graduate and begin your career as a Starfleet officer. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love hearing Tilly narrate all of that. Anyway, welcome to Star Trek Online. everyone. That's not my normal intro at all. This is Tohi, by the way. Okay, so, oh boy, my layout is all screwed up. This is gonna take a second. Okay, there we go. So, how's it going, everyone? Nizen45 here with some more Star Trek Online. We are playing Age of Discovery. We're playing the new... Oh, dang it, I forgot that part of my... We're playing the new Starfleet Discovery tutorial thing. Hi, Tilly. Hey, there you are. Are you excited? I am very excited. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training crews. Absolutely, I'm very excited. You know, it's, it's fun seeing Tilly. Back in, uh, well, not back in Star Trek Online, but just in Star Trek Online in general, you know? Like... Are you kidding? I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words. Chief. Engineer. Cool! Right? I'm still not sure if this isn't one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like this, you know. Ugh, poor Jim Kirk. Mm. Oh, uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. You know, I, I've seen... It's been out for a little while now, now just because of how I, how I do videos and stuff. But. Here's Lifeson, one of the best tactical cadets in your class. Uh, oh, oh, after Evelyn, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Tilly. I, I completely forgot what I was saying to my audience just a moment ago, but you were saying, Lifeson, hi. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? I'm not sure yet, but I'm an engineer, so... Uh, well, Lieutenant Tassilne has all of the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. He's got good news and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. Well, well, if we're judging from life, Centilly, it sounds like we don't really have a choice. Anyway, it, I've seen some stuff about this tutorial and how people are kind of saying that it's just like a reskin of the 2409 tutorial, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I mean, look at this place. Look at, look at the new, like, look at the new Starfleet Academy. It's sunset, the Golden Gate Bridge looks awesome. I'm a weird alien thing that I made. I, it all just looks cool. I really like it so far. Cadets Quan and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which, I've heard, is almost up to Tamav's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. Dang. Oh, hey. I've been looking for you. I, I hope that's a good thing. Yes! I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it! Good for you. <laughs> you and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. You saw that I wasn't at my best that day, told me to give it another shot. So... I did. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. That's impressive. Thanks. Always good to have options, right? Kiro took your advice too. I think it worked out for him since he's slightly less scowly than usual. Well, let me know if I'm right, okay? Okay. Who's Kiro, Tilly? I think Tell I me. see Kiro over there. Come okay. On. I'll follow you. You know, unlike all the NPCs, Tilly, I can respect you. You actually r r walk and run at the same speed that I do. Not many ge video game characters can say that. That's an achievement. You should be proud of that. Hello, Carol. And here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. 
It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. <laughs> Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. You sound like a slightly deeper voice Klingon from that temporal episode of... I can't remember what his name was, but hey there. In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position based on my current statistical models. Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the matter. Cool, cool. What What about the other tw uh, twenty? Come on, 20? this way. I, I see you, Tilly. One moment. Tw 21, 21.6%. What's the other 216 six? I'll wait out here. Tassil should be inside. Okay, you, you, I'll, I'll just do a little barrel roll for good luck. Okay. Good afternoon, cadet. How may I be of assistance? Please stop staring at me so creepily. It is. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Hmm. Fascinating. I can't tell what that means, how you said that. Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Schaefer himself. Up. Uh, well, guess I didn't make the class. Is there a problem? That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Schaefer and ask him personally. He is in the office behind me. Okay, th thank you. I think I'm gonna get scolded by the teacher in just a moment. Ding dong! And uh... Thank you. Nice office, very... Baron. Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training crews. Did you fire me? Uh, well, you can relax. I'm happy to report that you won't be my new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. Thank goodness. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Your academic record is impressive, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. Care to shed some light on that for me? Uh, I'm not a technical officer. The concern more to attract many of the cosmetics into. I'm an engineering officer. The Federation is at war with the Klingon Empire, Cadet. Shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. That in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exceptions. That uh, yes, sir. I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you on my bridge. Once you finish that phase, of course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing your results. Cool. Thank Cadets you. Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior, but her professors assure me that she's up to the task. I'm sure she is. Indeed. She'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, Cadet. Dismissed. Um, okay, cool. Thank you, sir. Hey, Tilly, what's up? I still can't believe I got the chief engineer spot. Yes, it's just for the cadet training crews, but still. How many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Whew, deep breath. I'm good. Woo! <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? Uh, the Schaefer wants me to... Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. Something out about a bilge officer and first officer. I, I might have confused the two. Yeah? I was wondering why he wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you. It can get pretty lively. With the Klingons and aggression and... I should probably stop telling you about the program now. I'm I'm perfectly capable of shooting someone, Tilly. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Savea's waiting over at the simulator. You know how cranky she gets when people are late. Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. <laughs> you know, I really like that Tilly is in the tutorial. You know, she's... I can't listen to her and not smile, you know? It's just something about her. I like her. She's no fun. No one was assigned to a constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. <laughs> How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. 
You know, I don't remember what time or era the discovery is supposed to be taking place in, so I don't really know. Where would that have been? Hurry or we'll lose our spot. Career. Oh, I hate running. Because I know, like, in season two, we're going to be seeing uh -oh. Pike, right? There's Ev, and she's looking impatient. We're going to be seeing Pike in, in season two, so, like, where is this? I forget where this lies in the, in the timeline. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a gun. Yeah, those are pretty useful in phaser training, huh? Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You'd get top marks. Kidding? I'm kidding. The phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. Yeah, I'm not sure I like running you. Running is the worst. Oh, I know, Tilly. Believe me, I hate running, too. I mean, this is more like a slow jog. It's not really run- Tilly, Tilly, what are you doing to me? You're running ever so slightly faster than me. Tilly, you're giving in to the game theories! I want a gun. Just go to the center of the room. Hello, holodeck! What? Oh, hi, everyone. Are you guys supposed to be- out? This is so cute. They think they can hurt me. <laughs> Just one moment while I shoot you all. This looks like the um, the prison that was in. What was that? It was. It was. Uh, um, I know that. Uh, what was that episode? Get away from me. Um, what was that episode called? It it had mud in it. Uh. Duh. I don't remember the name of the episode, but it was one that I really liked. It was where we met Ash. This looks like the, the prison gate with that thing. And also these things. I never knew what this thing was. I never understood what that was. Oh, hello. Y'all were watching me while I was just screaming into nothing, into, into the camera. Hey, hey Nice work, Cadet. A few points below Severe's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. Oh, thank you! That I do, Cadet. First officer station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. The bilge officer spot is still open. No, 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 I, I, I like the first one. you might say that. You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue, onward and upward, throughout your career. Likewise, thank you! I'll see you on the bridge then, and congratulations. Wow, look at you, first officer! You're gonna do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer spot was pretty funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Anyway, first officer, how does it feel? I really think he wants me to be his bilge officer instead. Seriously, Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. <laughs> Well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? Okay! The rest of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. Time for your big speech. How are you gonna play it? Inspirational? Heartwarming? That could be good. Hey, make Savea cry, like, just a single tear. Warrior style. <laughs> anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure, you're gonna be great. Thank you, Tilly! That's sweet. Okay. <laughs> just a single tear. I like the- that's what I like about Tilly, you know? Because it's the humor that she has. I love it. Hello, everyone. You know, I, I remember this from the original tutorial. I love how you can inspire them, intimidate them, or be humble, and it really doesn't have any effect on anything, but it changes the speech that you have. So, on the first day of class four years ago, I looked into the mirror and thought, there's no way I can do this. I know I wasn't the only one. Uh... I have the utmost faith in each of you. You're the best the Academy has, to, and together we can do anything. Uh, but we will go forth boldly. We'll work together using everything we have learned here. To Starfleet Academy, to the... I have no idea how to pronounce that ship name. To our crew! All cadets, please board your shuttles. Let's go. Are you ready to head to the ship?
I can't believe we're finally doing this. Ooh, 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 look over there. That's the Glen, one of the new Crossfield class ships. No one really knows much about her or her capabilities. Well, at Starfleet Academy, anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. For now, our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class, Captain Schaefer's pride and joy. Good speed for her class, definitely maneuverable. A stout, solid, battle-proven design, for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. Let's land and find out. You know, say what you want about Discovery. Say what you want about, like, the aesthetics of the show and stuff. But this is cool! Okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first, then head to our stations. Oh man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. My engine room. Yeah! Because, <laughs> I mean, like... You know, I feel like Star Trek's always put, like, a lot of the glamour of space... Sylvia Tilly, acting chief engineer, reporting for duty. Space exploration and stuff. And we'd all like it to look like that. We'd all like to fly our own Enterprise and, you know, be in the TNG era and all that kind of stuff. But truthfully speaking, the way science progresses, it doesn't always look as sleek and beautiful. So I would expect it to kind of look more... What's the right word? Um, utilitarian, I suppose, that Discovery has. And so I, I, that's kind of why I like it. Like, I like, I like both aesthetics, really. But I think both have their kind of place, Welcome too. aboard. What's your name, cadet? I am Tohi. Ah, uh, yes. Here we are. Acting first officer. You're all set. Thank you. Report to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Use the turbo lift behind me. It'll take you directly there. Thank you. Dang. Look at this. This looks just like the Shinzo Bridge from the... I, I keep... I was about to say, well, it looks like the Shinzo Bridge from Discovery! And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Everything we're playing is from Discovery. Right. But, oh, man. That is gorgeous. I like it. Hey, man. Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XR. Uh, thank you. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. I get clearance for control or really gently. Uh, uh, but, uh, close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Acknowledged. Carry on. Dock control has cleared us to depart. Acknowledged. Carry on. Okay, cool, thank you. Oh, hi. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna use your console for a moment there. Schaefer? Erez, take us out. One quarter impulse. Yeah, you know what? Why not? <laughs> I always like trying to go as fast as I can through a space dock anyway, so. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan, warp four. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Incoming transmission. Captain, I'm picking up a distress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA, three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. Mm. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. I look like a little monkey, a little blue monkey. 
Ooh, pretty lights. Ooh. That is really cool looking. <laughs> I like that. That looks so cool. Wait, I can see through the floor before. Can I? <gasps> oh. That's so trippy! I love it! And the windows! Oh! Oh, can I have this as my bridge? I like it! Oh, I like it! Hey. I'm sorry, what? Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? The full phasers, torpedoes, launch, every fire, everything! Afraid not. This is the real deal. Oh. First Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. Uh, okay. Not usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? Uh, before we get any information, we're going to say in our uh, red f <laughs> full load photon tor photon, photon torpedoes. Interesting approach, but I don't think a full tactical alert is appropriate here. Fortuna's a freighter, not a Klingon ship of the line. Did you can never know, sir. I agree. Surveyor, raise the shields. As for you, XO, I want you down in the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Okay. Can I just stay here, though? It's really pretty. It's mesmerizing looking at that. Oh, I love it. Okay, okay, fine. I'll leave. Ugh, gotta do everything on my own. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! Do it with John! A joke! Oh! Desmond? Come in! What happened? Desmond? Hold on. We're reading disruptive fire in the transporter room. And Klingons are beaming in on multiple decks. All hands, this is the captain. Repel borders. I repeat, repel borders. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. You let us worry about that. Right now, I need you doing what you can to get those Klingons off my ship. Bet you're glad you took that phaser course now, huh? Shoot straight and stay safe down there. Yeah, you don't have to be sarcastic, Badge Safer. Red alert everyone, we're being boarded by Klingon eggheads. Oh, hey. Hey, dude, you're Andre. Hello, Andre. You have and to you... enter the command codes. Okay, fine. No, we're not in a rush here, okay? Give me a moment, people. Grab a rifle. We need to deal with the Klingons. Okay, I want a rifle. Thank you. Give me a gun. I have two guns now. Two guns are better than one. It's like I get the one from the Lobby store, only this is the cheap Chinese knockoff version. That I've seen. Yeah! Andre! Poor guy never stood a chance. Holy! Uh. Hey, I'm reading a whole breach near the transporter room. Oh, good. You're on the right side of the safety field. Whew. Well, those people didn't last long. I don't even know what that woman's name was. <laughs> Well, did she have a name? I didn't even notice. Jeez. Good grief. 
<sighs> hey, lady, what? I forgot what your name is. What's up? Thanks. I think they were going to engineering, but hurry. There's a lot of them. Okay, I mean, it only looked like four beamed on, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. I mean, heck, you, you hit your Security head pretty hard. Security to engineering. We are under attack. Oh, no, we gotta save Tilly. We're reading Klingon boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. I am a one-man army. I am a one-alien army. Surprise! <laughs> That's one thing I love about being a low-level character again and being the tutorial and stuff. You feel powerful because enemies haven't properly Either scaled way, to XO, you yet. We've got your back. Thank you. Oh, dang, that is a lot of them. The new Klingon and Federation weapons that we're using right now, these are actually pretty cool. I wish this thing had a faster fire rate. As I've said time and again, I hate sniper rifles in this game. They are the most useless weapon, period. But, ugh. Okay, gotta breach the door. Move, move, move! Hello. Boop! <laughs> I will say this about sniper weapons, though, when you're at this level. Oh, am I glad to see you. Is that you can one-shot low-level enemies that don't have shields. And it feels really powerful. It makes you feel really good. What? There's another one? Oh, hey. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. They were looking for something in here. Can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially since the ship's a complete mess, thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help, since you're here. Anything for my girl, Tilly? What you need? What you need, girl? As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you could do in here? I'm an engineer. I can improve the ship's structural integrity field. Okay. I need you to get the structural integrity field out of the red. It's sitting at 15% and that's, well, bad. I need you to boost the power flow and distribution rate at the two consoles back there. You'll need to stabilize the overall calibration too at the central console here. Got it? Honey, are you telling me that we only have 15% hull left? Because we're no longer on a ship. We're on an escape pod that still has air somehow, if that's what you're saying. Just saying. I can, I'm so good at okay. my job, I can Work don't even have to stable. touch the console. Life support is optimal. Yes. Safety fields engaged, and ship-wide comms online. Also, can I just take a sec to say how freaking cool that engineering core looks? <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my word. Oh, this is, I love, I love the aesthetics. It looks so cool. It's so different, you know, from everything else Glad in Star Trek. With us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. It's so different from everything else in Star Trek. But at the same time, it's it's a cool aesthetic in and of itself, you know? Sir, we fly shields! Prepare for... Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Ja'ula of House Mokai. Surrender now, Captain, while you're still able. Request denied. Get off my ship! Get off my ship! If you insist, Captain. John Chu! Engineer, I, I need to look at those turbo lifts, make them faster, because we I just let my captain get kidnapped, apparently. Secure the bridge! Repel borders! Oh, hey, 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 girl. Hey, Savannah. Hey, get away from me. Thank you for finally joining us. 
finally I have some help. I mean, I held help on the, the last floor, gone. but I wasn't really paying much attention to so them because the I was doing most of the work. But you know, just saying, thank you for I'll finally try to helping. Find the Klingon ship. Yeah, you do that. Your medical assistance was adequate and necessary. I thank you. Well, I mean, yeah, you were kind of going to die otherwise, so. Oh, that was intense. Klingons. We just fought Klingons. Uh, oh, thought I was done for. Thanks. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. I owe you one. Ian, you baby, you only have 10% loss of health. What, what happened here? Incoming transmission from the Klingons. Put it through. Do I have your attention, Starfleet? Captain, are you all right? Silence. Surrender your ship and all classified data within it to me immediately. Safer, order your crew to do as I say. Exo. Follow my orders to the letter. Fire on my position. Oh! Spoken like a Klingon, Captain. Now die like one. Oh, jeez. Uh, wh what do we do now? Uh, we'll follow the captain's orders. Target his location and fire. What on you do? It's your head. What for luck? Look. Ah, but no. What on you? So we did you, and you did you, made you a big talk. That was brutal. Jeez. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, jeez. Ev, 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 Evie, Evie, what happened? We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. Y you don't want to finish that? Okay. Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. <clears throat> I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just sit here for a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, cool, I got... Uh, uh, Evie's on my team now. You're the... Evie is the new... Is the is the new, is the new what was her name? El, El Elisa. That's it. All decks have reported in. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All systems have taken damage, but some were hit worse than others. Life support is stable. Past that, it's not exactly optimal. Hey, we don't have fifteen percent hull integrity anymore, so that's a good thing. Working on it, but something's jamming our long-range comms on all frequencies. Still running under cloak. We knocked him around pretty good before they slinked off with their tail between their legs. That said, we're in rough shape ourselves. Damage control teams are assigned. We've put out all the fires and started patching the hull breaches, but it's gonna take a while. We, um, we'll get the critical systems back online as soon as we're able, Captain. Yeah, putting out the fires is probably a good idea. Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail them? Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Fortuna, this is the... I still don't know how to pronounce my ship name. What's your... What's up? What's up, guys? Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. I must apologize. I sent the distress signal under Teres. Uh, I'm sure you'll do the same with a Klingon disruptor pointed at your head. <laughs> hey, Horace, what's up? 
<laughs> Where'd you get from Nimbus, and why are you going under the name Cryano Jones? Quite so, Captain. Our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing, to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function. At the risk of <laughs> wearing out my welcome, would you be so kind and assist me? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. So, let me get this straight. Okay. Let me, let me get this straight here. Okay. 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 So... You baited us here... And now you're asking for our help. Survey alone two salvos of photon torpedoes, please. <clears throat> okay, we'll, we'll help you. Jeez. Uh, you think you know someone. I mean, I didn't know you at all, but you, I was pretending like I did, and th this joke is making no sense. I'm gonna stop now. Coming to a full stop, Captain. I'm sorry. Apologies. I'll wait for your command from now on. Yeah, you do that. Don't touch my stuff, okay? Don't touch, don't touch the little bar here. Don't ever do that again. Thank you. Scanning in oh, dang, that's a cool scanning effect. They need three or four warp induction coils, tops. We can spare a few. We have replicators. We can spare as many as we want. Thanks. Oh, and uh, good luck with the Klingons, my young friend. You'll need it. <laughs> Savannah, what happened to those torpedoes I asked for? Can't say I blame them. I wouldn't want to fight Klingons in a tub like that either. Speaking of Klingons... We have a problem. Most of our plasma injectors are a wreck. See, plasma injectors are made to take a beating, but this damage goes way beyond what would happen in a fight. Pretty sure the Klingons sabotaged them when they boarded us. They wanted to strand us here. Tamav is installing our spare injectors, but we're three short. Without those, we can't go to warp. Okay. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I recommend scanning the derelicts nearby. We may be able to find and recover intact plasma injectors from the wreckage. Okay, let me get this straight. I, um. I'm picking up a few compatible parts in the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units and we can get what we need. Okay, I would just go on a limb here and just ask quickly. Um, if we know that other Starfleet ships have died at the hands of Klingons in this particular area of space, by the evidence of obvious wreckage and black, black boxes, no doubt. Ugh, she is getting on my last nerve. Okay, cool. Anyway, if we have known that other Starfleet ships have just suddenly disappeared here at the hands of Klingons, why exactly was a cadet training cruise going anywhere near this section? Oh, wait, that's right. There was a disabled ship and we were the only ones in rage. Never mind. My, my rant has no merit anymore. I forgot what the story was going on. Okay, I was not thinking. These injectors are a little beat up, but I can work with them. Some of these are real top shelf tech. Type J's with a two liter flow, modulating reserves, and those sweet new Karma Darkers. <laughs> yeah, enjoy yourself, Tilly. Hey, remember that we almost got killed a few moments ago? Gonna need a little time to get these installed. I'd rather not breach the core after we go to warp because of a full system meltdown. And that can happen with dicey injectors. Right. I'm on it, Captain. While engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need critical systems back online ASAP. It's a sure bet the Klingons are making repairs, and they aren't as safety concerned as we are. We're on it, Captain. I located several Klingon military satellites nearby. Ian thinks we'll be able to reach Starfleet if we destroy the satellites, and I agree. Besides, we could use a little more target practice. Cool, blowing up more stuff. Anyway, um... If you're still watching this video, I was actually going to ask uh, anyone that's watching to please leave a comment below. I am trying a new recording software, and I am very attack. curious to know if it's actually doing any good. I'm using OBS instead of Fraps for this particular recording. Um, Target destroyed. Two more to go. Thank you, Savea. If you if you didn't know, I can count as well. See, there's one and two. Okay, cool. Thank you. Don't talk again. Um, I'm using OBS, uh, which is Open Broadcasting System, to record uh, this episode of uh, Star Trek Online for my channel. 
and I'm kind of wondering if this is better quality, if it's good sound, like, just, but, like, what do you guys think right now? I've used fraps for the past Stop, you years, are little so, oh, Just hi, wet. hello. That's a big ship. Long and they're gone, okay. Back, Captain. Shall I send the distress signal? Yeah, uh, no, let's just sit here and die. Yes, send it, Quan. That Klingon ship took some real damage during the fight. I bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. No argument here. I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, ever, really. <laughs> Scanning now. Oh, yes! I found it! Sending you the data now. We can trace their plasma signature right back to the source. It'll show up on the map. That was fast. From us, we should travel at full impulse to reach it. This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Yeah, you know Aha! Your death will be swift, Poo Poo. Did you just call me Poo Poo? Did you really just call me Poo Poo? Okay. Finally, I can use full impulse. Oh, jeez. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, yes, I'm trying OBS instead of fraps for this recording, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you're, what you think, if it's working or not, if it, if it works good, if I should continue trying using this or not. The, the main reason I was trying this was, this is, OBS is vastly superior to fraps in terms of file size. But just to give you a little bit of a story, I was using fraps to record some, uh, While well, we have the opportunity. It might not be a bad idea to review some of the basic starship combat files. Wouldn't hurt to be ready when the next group of enemies attack us out here. I am totally fine, Ev. Thank you. It would be wise not to follow me. Cowardly, but wise. Oh wow, that wasn't a taunt at all. Anyway, uh, I was using perhaps to record some uh, footage for, uh, for um, reference for stuff. A little while ago, and I ended up recording about three Tomob hours worth, and, and, tur and turned out to be about 500 gigabytes for three hours. Uh, which, granted, I know three hours is quite a lot, but still, um, OBS on the other hand turns out to be about a gig per hour. So you know, it's about 3,000 times better in terms of file size. So I'm gonna be trying OBS for this episode, obviously, but I want to know like how it compares visually to Fraps. So let me know. You know? What? No boom? I thought there was gonna be a boom. transmission, Captain. It's a Starfleet vessel, the Sabrova. Hey there. This is Captain Thykir Shran. We've received your signal. What happened here? Hey, Jeffrey. I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting bold, even for Klingons. You're lucky to be alive, cadet. Which reminds me, you're on Captain Schaefer's ship. Where is he? Ah, uh, yeah, about that. And did you follow his orders? I mean, I tried to, but... Uh... I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fine officer. We could use more like him. I take it you're the acting captain, then? I am sitting in the chair, so yes. Very well. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. If he chose you to be his XO, he knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. We'll escort you to make sure you get back in one piece. Thank you. I'm sure they are. And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Sobrova, out. Yes, sir. Okay. Finally, some port. That's cool that they brought Jeffrey Combs back to play Shran. You know? Now that I think about it, who played Shran in Discovery? Because we got to see him in the in the Mirror Universe at one time. Spoilers, by the way, for season one, if you haven't seen it. It's been a year, though. I think it's fine to say that I don't have to say spoilers now. That didn't make sense, but you got the point. Hey, Lakara, I'm gonna kill you. So, the wolf now fights with its cubs, eh? No. How do you know about wolves? You're a Klingon. Target shield. Just saying. 
Stay focused. Hit them where they're weak. And then hit again, them I, I guess it makes about as much sense as in Star Trek IV when the guy is quoting Shakespeare and he's on the I have no idea what that means. Okay, bye. That was easy. If, all, if only all boss fights in this game were that easy. Especially we founder ones. We were on our ones. way to check in on another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. If the Klingons are up to no good in that system, I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion, Cadet. You have your orders. Yes, sir. Oh, weapons. Yay, finally. This... This feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a House Mokai matriarch over something she thought we had on board. Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? I mean... Sure, but... It, I, I want to, but... <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Ja'ula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to warp when you are. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Why did I just call you ma'am? I'm, I'm technically your superior now. Hello. We've arrived, Captain. I'm reading the Ticonderoga dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with them and find out why they haven't responded to our hails. I love how the ship's warp in. It's just... Here we go. Yeah, cool. Set a course. Oh, hey, Timav. Who are you again? I don't remember you. Welcome to the crew. Okay. Hello? Hey, Ticonderoga. That's an interesting name. Yep, that's about what I expected. On it. Compensating for local interference? No. Hit Can't say I was expecting either of you out here. Care to fill me in? I am commander now. Captain Shran gave me a promotion. Hmm. That's the start of an answer. Captain Shran, perhaps you'd care to fill in the details? But the cadets were ambushed by Klingons. Captain Schaefer was killed in the attack, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Sobrova was escorting them back to Seoul. When we couldn't contact you, I decided to alter course and investigate. Now then, what's the situation here, Captain Dredd? Starfleet has received reports of Klingon activity in the region. We've been ordered to check things out here. They might be hiding in the cluster and using this as a staging ground. As you can see, the area plays havoc with our systems. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the area. We could use your help. If all three ships collect data, we should be able to complete this quickly and deal with any Klingons we might come across. Any questions? Nope, I'm good. This may be the worst simple trip to Vulcan ever. I was thinking the same thing, Tilly. Bet you wish you were back at the Academy, huh, Tilly? Picking up large pockets of radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Like what? Also, uh, uh, that you're Quan, right? I forget. You kind of all look the same to me. Durant here. Are you seeing the same ETA radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. I have no idea what that means, but I will trust your discretion. My science officer believes that performing a tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans, and then report back. Yes, ma'am. Why am I answering you, is realigned to emit a reverse tachyon pulse wave, Captain. Thank you! Uh, what was your name? You had Tamav! Thank you, Tamav! Reading an impulse spike. Captain! It's the Klingon! Oh hey! Can you can you die? Just quickly. One moment. I always love like when you miss in Star Trek Online, you know? When when the enemies hey, are going did, that slow. Did we just fight the Klingons again? Yes, and we survived! Ooh, that was lucky. Half the systems down here are bypassed like a Christmas tree, Captain. We can't take much more combat. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not a miracle worker. You're doing fine, Tilly. Thank the you. The Condoroga is under attack. 
Use full impulse to reach her quickly. I, I mean, that's how I always run, Shrant. That's how we all... Shrant? What? That, 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 that's how we... Uh, that, that, you know what I'm talking about. Full on part the torpedoes. Oh, wow, I shot three. Target shield have failed. There is only death for you here, Starfleet. Inbound. You know, I was thinking about the different tutorials that we have in Star Trek Online today. You know, this is going to make the, what, fifth tutorial that's available in the game, you know? I mean, we have the regular classic Star Trek Online tutorial, which is based in 2409, which we've had in the game since launch, you know? It's been revamped, obviously, since then, since the, since the Borg incursion on when we had, uh... I don't know if we can handle more signals. Once we, once we had J.J. Spock, I don't remember the actor's name, sorry. When we had him, but, you know, I, that's kind of like the, the basic vanilla um, tutorial back in the day, you know? And, I, and it's kind of cool how each different tutorial that we have in the game now, it's... They all kind of act a little bit differently and offer a different gameplay experience. Ni none of them are... Starfleet officers. You're prepared for this. None of them give the exact same starting experience. Like, different ones have different types of advantages over each other. I always, I was just thinking about that earlier, and I thought that's kind of interesting. Multiple Klingon ships decloaking! But anyway, as I was thinking, you know, like we have, we have the Federation tutorial, but we also have the Klingon tutorial after that. And it's kind of, you know, now that I think about it, the, the Klingon tutorial is actually older than the Federation tutorial that we have now. You know? Because it actually got revamped a while back, and then the new... I think I know what the Klingons are up to here. They're using this system as a staging area. Something big is about to go down. We're picking up a large number of inbound warp signatures. Their most likely target is the Corvan system. There's a dilithium mine there, one we can't afford to lose to the Klingons. I'd like to point out that Durant said this was a staging area before you did, but that's okay. What's, what's, what, what, what's the status of Ticonderoga? The Ticonderoga was badly damaged and they took heavy casualties as well. Medical tells me Captain Durant was injured, but she'll recover in time. We're still working on triage and restoring the ship's critical systems, which leads me to our next course of action. I want you to go to the Corvan system and warn them about the Klingons. Okay, okay. what about you? The Sabroba is better equipped to hold off further Klingon attacks and assist the Ticonderoga here. We'll do what we can to delay them, but it'll be up to you to warn the people of Corvan. You know you're gonna die, right? It's not a matter of can, it's a matter of must. We'll buy you as much time as we can. You should have enough time to warn Corvan. I've hailed Starfleet Command and requested backup, but you and I know that we can't wait for them to arrive. Corvan can't wait. Okie dokie. We have to make our way to Corvan as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn them. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. You know he did. Ah, we're in sector space. So where are- oh. Oh, it's a tiny sector space! It's so cute! It's only four blocks. That's so cute. You need to warn the Corvan colony about the Klingons. We'll do what we can to hold off the Klingons here, 
and repair the Ticonderoga. Good luck. Okay, cool. Thank you. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Hey, I got Ian. Okay. Uh, okay, we need to go to the Corvan system. All right, let's go. Anyway, as I was saying not long ago about the the different types of tutorials, Use M to open up the map go away. For sector space. You At, the different types of tutorials that we have in the game, you know, the basic 24 hour night tutorial is kind of like the vanilla, you know? Then we have the Klingon tutorial, which is also kind of the vanilla. It gives you a different starting experience, but it doesn't really put you at any different kind of advantage, you know? Then we have the Romulan We're giving her all faction. she's got, Captain. I hope we get there in time. I'm, I'm sure we will, Tilly. The mission doesn't start until we get there. Anyway, so we have the, with the Romulan faction after that. And the Romulan faction is kind of interesting. Because it has about, like, I'd say, like, ten or so episodes that are just for the Romulan faction. And they give specific mission rewards that you can't get if you're any other faction. Like, I know that one of the... I don't remember what it was, but it's one of the ones where you fight the Borg Romulan ship or whatever. It gives this weapon called a pla Caustic Plasma. And I mentioned it in my last uh, energy tutorial video. It gives... It, it, when it procs, it burns twice as fast as normal plasma, so it essentially does double damage. Looks like we got here before the Klingons, Captain. We should make the most of this advantage. What are your orders? Blow everything up. I've managed to establish comms with the colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're going to get. Putting him through now. Hello, Captain. What can I do for you? Hey, you're about to die, just so you know. Run that by me again. Your signal's breaking up. Did you say Klingons? What about Sorry, let me let me be more direct. You are going to die. Up, oh, up, oh, we're too late. We just lost contact with Corvan 2, Captain. Something's blocking all subspace signals in this area. There's a comm satellite nearby. It should boost our signal so we can warn the ships and the colony. Okay. The yep. sat uses our security protocols. We should be able to access it. That is a tiny satellite. Anyway. Um, as I was saying, the Romulan mission has interesting stuff, because you can get special mission rewards and stuff that are there. The hails are still blocked. The Klingons may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Orders, Captain? Shoot everything! Not from orbits, Captain. The Klingons are disrupting transporter operations at the local level. Colonial evacuation on a mass scale could be... problematic. We may have to try to hold the Klingons here until Starfleet reinforcements arrive. Klingon forces inbound on an attack vector, Captain! I mean, it doesn't look like they are. They kind of just popped into existence over there. But anyway, um... I Those keep trying to... Those civilians won't last long against Klingons. We need to help them. I'm well aware of that, Tilly. One moment while I shoot them with photon torpedoes. He did. Anyway. We have... A number of uh, t tutorials and stuff, you know. So, the Ryan the tutorial is interesting. How it gives you—it doesn't really give you too much of a starting advantage, but it does give you advantage over Federation 2409 Federation at least, and Klingons because it gives you some unique weapons that the other faction can't get. Now, Klingons do get a few interesting things that Federation players can't get, like the Sword of Kalos. But besides that, there's not really a whole lot. So, all in all, the, the Romulan faction, I would say, is like vanilla plus. You know, like, it doesn't give you too much of an advantage over everyone else, but it gives you a little bit of interesting stuff. And then we have the faction that was released after that. Well, technically, the next expansion for the game, I think, was Delta Rising, but we didn't get a new faction for that. So, I don't really know what to say about that, but the next actual faction we got was the TOS faction, the original series. I don't remember what year that was supposed to be based on. I don't know my Star Treks. Anyway. Now that one, if you're going to make a Federation character, I would definitely recommend making a TOS character, and the reason being is because the, Feder the TOS Federation characters get a huge, huge starting advantage when they come to this timeline. And people are about to talk to me, so I'll hold off a minute just so I don't get interrupted for, like, the twelfth time during this video. Captain, I have short-range comms again. Long-range signals are still blocked. I've updated the colony. However, the Klingons have started to send down attack squads. What are your orders? Shoot everything. I've given the order, like, five times now. Okay. <clears throat> 
Miss me, you're supposed to. The civilians are trying to fight the Klingon landing craft. Warning, ship is under attack. I think I can break through the Klingon jamming and kill the civilians. Ah, uh, if only Tachyon Beam actually was this good when it was in in-game. Anyway, Civilian so... Disengage immediately. I repeat, disengage. The TOS faction gives you an extreme advantage when getting into normal Roger player that, content later on. And the reason being is because there are, like, I don't remember how many... TOS Federation missions there are. I think it's something like five of them or something. But they give enough experience so that once you actually, you know, meet Daniels and stuff later at the end, and you get to 2409, you're level 10. So you're playing, you know, Stranded in Space, the first Federation mission, at level 10. So you are 10 times more powerful than the enemies in that mission. And any mission you play after that, you're 10 times more powerful. You're 10 levels higher than what you're supposed to be, naturally. So, a TOS faction character is honestly the best starting experience, in my opinion, just because you get, you're so powerful right off the bat. Captain, the miners won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more enemy ships on long-range sensors as well. It won't be long before the colony is overrun. I recommend we beam down to help the miners while we can. Yes, sir. Why did I call you sir? I'm your superior officer now. Hello, everyone. Oh, this isn't good. According to our readings, over half the colony has been overrun by the Klingons. At the rate they're moving, this area will fall in less than an hour. Right. Lead the way, Captain. I've got your back. Cool. Good for you. One moment. I need to get my new gear on me and stuff. Okay, we're good. Anyway. Back on the topic at hand, um... Lay the gate closed! We have to get out of here! Starfleet's here! Oh, thank goodness. I mean, hello. Hi. Thanks. We didn't think anyone got our distress signal. Glad that's not true. We were about to surrender. We didn't have any weapons. We do have some spare armor suits for you and your officers, though. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Chief Smythe and some of the others are still in there. I know it's asking a lot, but if you can, please save them. Yes, ma'am. The okay. To the gate. You have to save the chief and the others. Press the you. I don't this want to. I don't error. want. I don't need your tutorial. I know how to put on armor. Hey, who, who's with me again? Evelyn. Hey, you get that. There you go. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, so the next, um. The next faction that was released was obviously the most recent hey, one, which careful. is Victory There's is Life. A lot of down there. So we got the Jemadar faction for that one. Um, and for that faction, we got to play Jemadar and stuff. And that one was a bit unique because we got to start at level 60. And we got, we got full level 60 gear and all that kind of stuff, and it was just really interesting. Hang on, person, Your I'll Star save you! Fleet can't help you now! Please, stop! Let me try again. Let me try one more time. Hey, I got it! You're alive! You're welcome, sir. Disable resistance. Interesting. Anyway. So, I'm, I'm walking very fast. Um, during, for the Jim and R faction, you start at level 65, but your traits are all chosen for you, and you get a really good uh, leg up experience because you start as a character that you don't have to go through everything in the tutorial and, you know, leveling up again. You're, you're set right there. But, to be honest, it is a bad starting experience, if you know what I mean. Like, if you're a first-time player, it's really something you don't want to play. Because it doesn't give you much of a tutorial about anything and just kind of throws you into the fray of being level 60 almost immediately. And you know, while that's cool and stuff, if you're a, if you're already a longtime player or a veteran of the game, you know, for a brand new player, that's not very a good thing because they're gonna be like, "What? What's a gun?" It's just us up here, Captain. No sign of Zabrova or Ticonderoga. That should be a good thing, Quan. I got you. I got you, ma'am. One minute. One one moment, please. Okay, there you go. All right. Anyway, so I, I I feel like 
the TOS faction is obviously the best faction to start a new character with, just because of how much of an advantage you get if you're looking to level up. However, if you're looking to just get into the action and just Stay create back. a new character for I'm fun, warning you. to hey, be honest, the... You're Starfleet! You were the one who contacted us, yeah? Yeah, I'm glad hi. glad you're here. It's, I'm sure you can guess we're uh, all a little on edge. If it wasn't for Fletcher visiting family here, I'd have eaten a disruptor place by now. Not to be critical, but uh, where are the rest of you? This is it! It's just me and her. Oh, that, that's not good. We're in big trouble. These Klingons mean business. They've locked us out of the mine. Probably down there robbing us blind while we speak. No way we can beam anyone down to stop them. And they've probably killed all our security there by now. They will do what Wait we can. Wait a We're definitely going to need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. Okay, thanks. I mean, I'm not that worried about it, because, you know, we, we literally just killed, like, about 50 Klingons just walking here, and I didn't take a single bit of damage. They did get my shield down a little bit there, but uh, not that bad. Just saying. So, anyway... Um, I know you want to shut down that security field on the mine, but I have an idea. Hear me out, okay? Okay. Okay. I think we can hook up the field emitter to the power core and modify it to broadcast a field over the entire facility. It's a short-term solution, but it could be what we need to keep the Klingons from getting any more of their troops down there. I have no idea what that means, but let's do it. I know, right? Well, first things first. I'm reading a device at the base of the mine entrance. If you can set up a jumper between it and the main command console, you'll be able to reroute the field's power flow. That'll open up the mine for you and set up things for my plan. Right, okay, sure. Let's techno babble it up, yes. All right, we're in business. Almost. I'm gonna need someone to be my hands down there. Was I just carrying all that? My pockets are amazing, man. Hey, nice work. Perfect timing, too. I can hear the Klingons coming. We're about to have some really unpleasant company. Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll, I'll get the job done. Just keep them off me, okay? Okay, y you have fun now. Right, here they come. Let them have it! Hmm? Oh, hey. <laughs> anyway, um... I need you to pull the actuator, invert it, and jam it back in. Trust me. Yeah, that's the problem with. Hang on, I'm just gonna. These mines hey, right there, don't mind me. It's in there. I think I got it. I don't really. I can't really say much of anything right now because. Now manually cycle the power while forcing a short through the jumper. I can't say much of anything because people in the game keep talking, and I'm oh, like, I want, I want to commentate, uh, but I can't. Oh, dang. I got all of them in one hit. That all you got. C Fletcher. Hey, Chief. Any time now. Fletcher, don't bother trying to get the one over the gate. Just leave him. He doesn't matter. Look, I'm doing this as fast as I can. Okay, well, no, I'm I can, I can, I can, Oh, he, he got back on the other side of the gate. He teleported. Cool. Hey everyone. Almost there, almost there. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna finish up the, the, the conversation I was trying to have before. The, actually, never mind, we have one second left. Okay, got it. Good job, Chief. The field looks stable. The system is still clear, Captain, but those Klingon ships are getting closer. The faster you can finish up down there, the better. Acknowledge. The least I could do. Thank you for putting your lives on the line here. We won't forget it. You didn't have to come help us, least of all by yourselves. But we're really happy you did. You got it. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this place without a fight. Oh, and uh, sorry about that whole phaser in the face thing earlier. Won't happen again. That's fine. Klingons worry about me, not the other way around. I Let's like go. Fletcher. She's cool. Okay. As I keep trying to say for the last, what has it been, like 20 minutes now, um, 
the Jemadar tutorial is really good if the faction, the Jemadar faction is really good if you want just a really quick starting experience so you can get straight into the game. Don't say tough when your targets shoot back, huh? <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Fletcher. Okay, I did most of the damage there. Anyway, um, as for the discovery tutorial, just by what I'm seeing so far, it looks pretty similar to the Federation tutorial that's in 2409. Just you know, revamped and really prettied up and stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, I know there are two more missions after this that was released. So, and it sounds like we're going to be getting more eventually, I think. I don't know. But regardless, you know, I feel like this is a, a, a good starting experience. It's better than the old Federation tutorial one because it gives you a few missions to get ahead, but not as many Locked. as like the TOS Suppose we'll did. just have to knock. <laughs> oh, we're going to blow up the door. Cool. I like this plan. What? The bombing has stopped! Something's wrong! Secure the dilithium and prepare it for immediate transport! No! Not so fast, Klingon! You're done here! Enemy target on center. That was the most awesome action movie Your intro I could have gotten for that. Can. I think we got all of them. Oh no, more here. Oh wait, let me let me put mines down. There we go. No, no, come, come back over here. Come back over here. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Walk into the mines. Full auto rifles are so weird. Huh. <sighs> This place is really cool. It kind of looks like the mining facility that we have uh, for the, the fleet. But, uh, Captain, we're picking cooler. up some strange energy readings near your position. What's going on down there? Did Ev shoot a reactor or something? Uh, I mean, probably. We're uh, detecting energy spike in the mining laser. Hold on. Okay. I pulled the specs on that unit. It's an older model, but it gets the job done. It uses two oscillating beams instead of a fixed pulse. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Well, I'm seeing three possible outcomes to this rig overloading. What's the best case scenario here? Outcome three. You managed to trigger an emergency shutdown before the rig goes nuclear. Still a bad thing, nuclear. Not as bad as, say, a warp core breach, but still bad. So we should definitely try to avoid that. Yeah, let's go with that option. Okay, I found the emergency shutdown mechanism, and good news, it's really easy to operate. It's just a pair of simple switches on two separate consoles that have to be activated at the same time. Well, that's good. We're three people down here, then. I don't know. I guess it was built that way so a single disgruntled miner couldn't shut down the whole operation. Miners get disgruntled, you know? You can do this. Ask around. <laughs> see if there are any locals. They might be able to assist. Yes. Fletcher, go. Go to the other... Okay, cool. I didn't even have to tell you. Where's the console? Is this it? Oh. Fletcher, are you good yet? Can I? Oh, I can do it now. Okay. Woo, wow, that was really close. Good job, Captain. The security field is still standing, the mine secure, and you didn't blow up. And that's good. But the Klingons are still on their way. We could use your help up here when you're ready to beam up. Yes, ma'am. I keep calling, I, why am I keep calling you that? I, 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 I am your superior officer. I was battlefield promoted. Captain, the colony's security field is holding strong. There's still a lot of Klingon ships heading our way, though. We need to leave, and soon. But? But there's a problem. Civilian ships travel through here frequently. We need to warn them about the Klingons, or they could warp into the middle of a war zone. I think they would get the warning from all the ship wreckage and then they say, Nope, let's go, before they had any chance. But we can use the local sound mice to make an automated warning. Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite as we leave the system, which we should soon. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. Hey, let's go change the signal thingy. I've been recording for an hour and a half, so my commentary is kind of getting garbage now at this point because I'm running out of material. 
Ooh, pretty beam. I like that. We've definitely got their attention, Captain. Oh. Okay, one moment. Just gotta drain your shields all the way. And then shoot you with two torpedoes. Boom! Okay. Ah, uh, to be level zero again. I really do like, you know, it, it's both a good thing and a bad thing, honestly. How, like, when you're low level, you're so much more powerful in terms of your shots, in terms of the torpedoes. Like, watch this torpedo. It doesn't miss. I think it missed. Anyway. Like, your torpedoes do, like, 3,000% damage and stuff. Your weapons do a lot more damage as well. The enemies, like, look at this. They're doing one damage to my hull with each shot. That's so cute. Oh, it was a critical of two. Hold these torpedoes. Get the real Kobayashi Maru feeling down here, Captain. Just What are you honest. talking about? You're in engineering. You're in a room that has no windows. And he's doing nothing. This is literally Today, all me up here. You will die as warriors. Stop. Okay, I mean, okay, these guys are actually doing a little bit more damage. They're doing two to three damage. Sorry, we're late. Woo! Yeah. Not really. I mean, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, Shran. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. Don't worry about me. I was having no problem whatsoever. I mean, you're welcome to join, but I mean, like, I had no problem. Everything was working just fine. That's fine without you. Yeah, but the one thing that is a downside to being a low level again is the fact that um, is the fact that battles take so long to complete. Corvart Two is ours, Starfleet. You have lost. Oh, that's a lot of them. They won't take us without a fight, Captain. That's okay, we got weapons and you guys still do are doing like no damage. So I can take out all of you, don't worry. We started the party without our shield, but you Oh hey, cool. Hey, was that the discovery? It's the oh no, it's the Glen. Cool. If they stay on Earth, Calvary has arrived. All ships! Open fire! I'll say this though, that this is a really cool space battle. I really like the visuals for the Federation and Klingon uh, discovery disruptors and phasers in space, you know? I don't like how they're much slower than they used to be. That really kind of stinks that they changed the visuals. But I still think it looks really cool. I mean, look at that! That firefight looks awesome! That looks freaking cool. Come on, you gotta admit that. I got two torpedoes for you, buddy. Hold on, I'll use my base maneuver. Okay, you died. I didn't get to fire my torpedoes, dang it. We stood our ground at the Arucanus arm until the situation became untenable. After we disengaged, we were able to reach Starfleet and call for backup. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. We can't afford to lose this system to the Klingons. Thank you for coming. Don't mention it. You'd do the same were our situations reversed. I believe Captain Schaefer would be proud of you and your crew, Captain. Your efforts to defend the Federation are commendable, and my report will indicate this. Thank you. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Indeed. I'm sure Starfleet Command has detailed plans for defending Corvan. For now, however, your work here is done. You're to report to the Soul System with the civilians you've rescued. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Kensington for debriefing. Yes, sir. Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. I'll make a note of it in my report to Starfleet Command. You've done well under extraordinary circumstances. Anton's ship is in good hands. Keep up the good work. Shran out. Cool, we get Fletcher. Nice. Congratulations. We've done all we can, Captain. Let's get to safety while we still can. Yes. Yeah, I, uh, I almost called you ma'am there, but no. No. After everything we went through out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. 
I mean, what's string theory compared to dodging Klingon disruptor blasts or trying to keep a warp core stable? Speaking of scary, think Admiral Kensington's gonna go easy on you? The ship did kind of get beat up. A little. Uh, okay, a lot. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I mean, I'm kind of the acting, acting captain now. She doesn't really have time. Plus, I have a rifle now. So, you know, that's a bargaining chip as well. The Admiral's office is this way. Hello. Thanks for coming. You've been through a lot. Starfleet Command appreciates your efforts, especially at the Corvin system. I do as well. Thank you. I don't have to use my phaser, apparently. I've read the official reports, but I'd like to hear your take on it all, in your own words. Two hours later... Hmm. This Ja'ula has become quite a thorn in our side. You're fortunate. Very few have survived combat with her. Our agents are on the hunt for Ju'ula as we speak. Bringing in the sister of Takuvma will be quite a blow to Klingon morale. Rest assured, you're not the only one who wants her to pay for her crimes. I don't think we've seen the last of her. Neither do I, unfortunately. Well then, based on what I'm seeing here, you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs now. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her center chair. The job's yours if you want it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, under normal circumstances, it would take years of work to get your own command. But these aren't normal circumstances. The war isn't going well for us. We don't have the luxury of waiting years before putting good officers on the line. We need them out there right now. We need you. Just, just... Break every rule in Starfleet. Give me a promotion right now. Yes, Corvin would have been a disaster if it weren't for you and your crew. Starfleet wants to recognize that. Therefore, as of now, I'm making your promotion and command official. I see the same things in you that Schaefer did. Honor his name and make us all proud. Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't recommend it. I have it on good authority. I'm quite a terror when crossed. On to more mundane duties, hmm? You'll need to check in with the tailor and update your uniform in a manner appropriate to your new rank. After that, acquire a shuttle for your ship. When you're finished, return to me for new orders. Well, okay. You don't look unhappy. That's good, right? Yeah, that's good, that's good. I'm the captain now. So yeah, I see what people are saying in the fact that this is very much like the 2409 tutorial, but just quote unquote reskinned to be, you know, discovery-based and stuff. But, you know, regardless of if it is or if it isn't, I still have to say, it's a dang good tutorial still. You know, it's solid. I, I like how this they handled all this. This way. I, I know where everything is. Thank you. Hello. I heard rumors about your recent exploits, Lieutenant Toy, uh, Tohi, uh, congratulations to promotion to the captain of the starship. Yeah, help you adjust the details, particular uniform we're spending regulation, of course. This is a good time to update your uniform with new rank. You said, yeah, no, I'm good, thanks. Nice, it really suits you. Thank you for finally telling me that. I've been wearing it for the last hour. But no, you know, all in all, this has been a really good tutorial. It is teach the basics of how to play Star Trek Online. Honestly, better, I think, than the original 2409 tutorial did. It's updated with really good visuals. The cutscenes have been pretty good. The writing has been pretty good. Tilly's awesome that you get to have her in this now. I really like all of it, you know? Yo, Kenzie, what's up? Congratulations on your promotion. I will let you know when I have a new task for you. Okay, cool. I have a mission for you. No, you don't. Okay, so everyone, that was the new Starfleet Star, Star Trek Online. That's what this game is called. Star Trek Online Discovery Tutorial Federation character thing. Anyway, so thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.